Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking. It is 1 a.m., and I am filming tonight because we've got the new set, Assault into the Demonic World. The brand new set in Force of Will, along with the mini little half set, 2.5 set or whatever they're calling it. I don't even know. Rebirth of Legend, which does look really dope. I'll show that one in camera too. Bunch of mini packs. I got a whole case of them here. So we're going to be sprinkling those throughout the upcoming week since they're mini sets. But today, the focus is on this bad boy right here. Assault into the Demonic World. The second set in the Saga Clusters, which should be pretty freaking sweet. There's a bunch of really cool cards in this set that I'm excited to open up. I don't know all the values of all the crazy ones, but I do know some of the good ones to get. Obviously, J Rulers, first and foremost, of course, but there's some uh, witches in this set, I've heard, that have some really nice value in the full art. So, I'm very excited to open these up and see what we can find, so let's crack into this brand new sucker and see what we can get. Slice, there we go. Get this plastic off, and we'll get into our promo card first, or the buy a box promo card, I should say. There it is. Oh, oh, it got stuck on the top here. All right. Awesome. All right. So there is our nice little buy box promo. Pulsing Thunder. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. I was right. Pulsing Thunder. Pulsing Thunder. Sweet card. Shayla, I believe, is her name. She's a new J-Ruler. She looks freaking dope. I'd love to get her J-Ruler because she is really sweet looking. Very, very cool card. And on to all the beautiful packs that are kind of stacked in here. Very unorderly, but that's okay. All right, first pack, Assault into the Tomonic World. I am excited. Let's see what we can find. We're going to be taking this one nice and slow. Number four, Atomic Fairy. That one's really cool. Mysteries, Bogus Meditation, Firestorm. That's a cool one to get in a full art. Oh, some of the classic Darkness Magic Stones. Bringing back the old school stuff. I like it. I like it. Our Life Points. And then we got Atomic Turbulence as our super rare. Very nice. Very nice. Behind it, Hero of Compassion. Just a normal full art, but man, those greens really do pop in this one. Very cool. Ooh, second pack. Let's go. Oh, look at that. We just got you in a full art. How nice of you to show back up. Magic Stone of Tides, Primrose, Hero of Courage, I Avenger, Water Magic Stone, and then we got, oh, look at you. You're a little baby fish thing. Brave Force as our rare, and then, ooh, just the normal version of Magic Stone of Tides, but... Ain't that pretty? Ain't that just a sharp little pretty blue stone? Is it just me or do these backs feel like extra textured in this set? Maybe I just haven't noticed it, but these feel like more textured than usual. Maybe it's just because it's late and it's almost 2 a.m. and I am overtired. That could be it, potentially. But we got Temple of the Dead, Demonic Fish of the Demonic World. Oh, okay. A little like weird Kraken thing, maybe. Excalibur Reincarnation. She's a pretty cool character. We can start getting in full arts. There's Shayla again. She's got some nice artwork. Uh, oh, it's not Shayla. I'm thinking of the old one. It's Olivia. Okay, you guys are already screaming in the comments, and I am sorry. I'll probably put a notation up there. Olivia, I don't know. I, we already had a mermaid as a J-Ruler once before, so I was thinking Shayla, but that's back in the old days. I don't know what happened to Shayla anymore. We got Olivia. Olivia is the girl that we're looking for now. Magical love, lovelessness, lovelessness, loveliness as our normal. Lots of normals. We need to start getting into our full art rares and super rares. Come on. Also, what is this? This is like almost the exact same artwork on this card. This is a rare. This is a normal. Mm, I mean, maybe it's got some purpose, but that seems kind of lazy. Don't worry. I'm not going to harp into laziness in the artwork in this set. Yes, I'm sure they're could be some you could harp about, but I think I did enough of that in uh, Magic Stone War, uh, enough to go around for a few sets, I'm sure. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna critique too harshly in this one. I'm just gonna enjoy it. Fallen Angel of Paradise, very nice. And then we got Charlotte's Light Transformation Magic as our rare and Absorbing Knowledge. What's his name? Brad? Something like that? He's got like just a pretty basic normal name, but he's a J ruler that you can find. He's like a third dollar card. It's a good one to get. All right, we need to start moving a little bit quicker if we're going to go through this whole box in a reasonable amount of time. Let's go into the, what are you, healing robot? Look at Eternal Wind. 
It's the same art. Oh, okay. I said I wouldn't do it. I said I wouldn't do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Glowing Tree of Valhalla. Very cool. Rare is that card. And then we got Magic Stone of Guidance. Just a normal little foil. Next pack. <laughs> is my voice breaking? It's because I need sleep. And I'm going insane. Okay. Anyways, all right, now I just can't grip the cards. Okay, my bad. Ah, the Witch of Melting Ice as our rare. I believe it's the witch with the pointy hat is the nice big one we want to be looking for. It's like the nice $40 card if you get in the full art. Ah, yeah. I mean, this is this is pretty cool. I will admit, this is a great artwork, but it's Schrodinger. And you guys, if you guys watch my videos, you know how I feel about Schrodinger. I'm not the biggest biggest fan. I'm well, not the biggest fan, but I will say when I did see he was back in the set, I did like his design as a nice fluffy white fluff, floof, floofy, floofy thing. I don't know. And I have not seen this artwork and this is some beautiful artwork for him. So I think he's getting on my good side with this set. I'll give him that. I think they might be slowly turning me into a Schrodinger cat fan. Yeah, it's dope. That is, that is solid work. That one might be worth something too. I don't know. Schrodinger... For some reason, people like playing with them, and uh, he can get some value sometimes, especially in those older sets, but we'll see how he does in this one. Uh, there is Surge Lightning with Olivia, not Shayla, sorry. Some beautiful artwork. She's got some nice artists on her. And our little Thunderfish again. They brought back the stupid Thunderfish. Yeah, they did. They did. Uh, what can you say? Super rare, though. And AGS. Yeah, we're just going to skip that whole debacle of same artwork. I said I wouldn't do it. I can't help it. I'm an artist. All right. I notice these things. <laughs> oh boy. Next pack. Let's go. Let's keep going here. What was that? Oh, that was Witch of Quenchfire. Schrodinger's Call. This is the artwork I did see. I was like, oh, okay. All right. All right. I see what you're doing there. Uh, Will Coin. And then we got Charlotte, Future of the Sacred Spirit. Very nice. Not bad. Not bad. Super rare. Behind it, Magic Stone of Atoms as our normal. Wah, let's get into the next one here. Let's find ourselves a God Pack. That's what I would like to do. It's like my aim whenever we get a new set is just like, can we find a God Pack in the first box we open? Brave Force as our rare, which, did we get that one? I don't know, but we've got Fallen Angel of Hatred as a full art rare. Beautiful card, beautiful, beautiful card. Really, really nice, really, really nice. Very cool. All right, next pack here. Let's get into it. We got the witch again and Void. Just the name of the card is Void. Our classic dark Darkness Magic Zone. Olivia, not Shayla. And Absorbing Knowledge again, just the normal version, not the full art. And behind it, Guardian Dragon of the Kingdom as our rare full art. Those greens, man. These greens be popping in this set. That's for sure. Next, let's go. Let's get into... We're going a little bit faster. Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna skip through a little bit faster now. Lightning Passion. Look at that beautiful artwork for her. And then Mister. Oh, the Mysteries of Zero. Very cool looking card. It is a rare. It is a full art. I'll take it. Next one. Here we go. Let. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Hero of Might. That great artwork, man. Yuko Nagasaki. Dude, good stuff. Good stuff. The Witch of the Unblowing Wind. These witch cards are really cool. So there must be like a witch deck going around. That's my assumption. Uh, anybody in the comments, feel free to let me know if there is a witch deck and if it's any good. We got Tiny Violet, their little chibi violet as our super rare. And then we got Gradius as our normal. Next. I can't catch stuff. It's getting late. All right. In to Gradius again. Excalibur Reincarnation. Water Magic Stone, Olivia right there, and then Necronomicon Barrier is our super rare. And this is Wolfgang now, I guess? Went from this to this? Someone please tell me in the comments how this happened. What on earth happened in his storyline that he went from this bad boy to this bad boy? I don't know. I don't get it, but uh, maybe we'll pull his J-Ruler of his newly formed features. I don't know. Is he the same guy? Is he not? I have no clue. Please, someone tell me. And then we got Limbs of the Avenger Normal. I don't know if they did my boy Wolfgang dirty or not, but uh, maybe some kind of different thing altogether. We'll see. I am curious. Look at that. Wind of Demonic World. There he is again. Firestorm. Light Magic Stone. There's that. Of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark Promonescence. Promonescence. Whatever. Super rare. We keep getting those. 
that, that artwork card too. It's, it's, I've jinxed myself, I guess. I called it out and it's like, here, you, you want to look at all that same artwork? Well, here you go. You just will keep getting them over and over and over again. All right, what is this one? This one's just Atomic Reactor. Okay, next one, please and thank you. Rip it and ship it, but do not rip these cards because we got Gino the Sacred, Starving Beast. That Starving Beast is actually pretty dope looking. Uh, the Mysteries of Almaras, Darkness Magic Stone, and then we got the Guardian, uh, Dragon of the Kingdom, just the normal version this time, and Improved Burning Robot as our rare interesting artwork on that one. It's not bad. It's not bad. I kind of do like it. Let's keep it coming. Oh, I bent that top card. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to. Uh, the packs are a little loose. Uh, Lightning Rod Mermaid. Haven't seen your artwork before. You're a bit busty, aren't you? But look pretty nice. Uh, Atomic Fairy, Atomic Reaction, Surging Lightning, and there's... Uh, there's Wolfgang right there as his J-Ruler side, but it's not the J-Ruler. Spark of Life as our super rare. Behind it, Heart of the Avenger Normal. All right, we're going lucky left side for this one. I, you know, I want to wanna get something nice here in this pack. You know, something noteworthy for my collection of characters and nice looking cards. She would be a nice one to get in the full art, that's for sure. She's not even a rare, but I'll take it. Give me another absorbing knowledge. Okay, what's behind it? Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. All right, Pulsing Thunder. Coming in hot. Holy crap. All right, just for the comparison, this is our buy a box. This is the normal. And is it just me, or does this feel like it should be the normal and this should be the buy a box? Because this is out of this world. This is insanely good insanely good wow thoroughly impressed thoroughly impressed that one's that one's going into sleep for sure that one is a nice looking card all right let's keep grinding through here with our busty mermaids uh bogus meditation and who do we got here we got blood lord Ooh, blood lord as our rare behind it oh hell yes hell yes leaneth heroic goddess of guidance i wanted this card look at how freaking awesome this card looks. It is so, so cool. And we got the full art. Yeah, it's a it's a good card. It's up there too. It's gotta be at least 20 bucks, something like that. But come on. Really, really nice looking. Alright, we got we gotta we gotta cruise now. We gotta cruise. We're getting some better pulls. We're we're heating up over here. It's gonna wake me up. Let's go. Come on, Eternal. Fire Magic Stone. Glowing Tree of Valhalla. <laughs> Woo. I told you we were heating up. Here he is. We've got Brad. I was right, wasn't I? Yes, <laughs> it's Brad, boy. It's Brad, our first J ruler, the Immortal Sage. And he is dope. I'll give him that. He's a hunk and he's Brad, the Immortal Sage. Very, very nice. Very, very cool card. I will take it. That is freaking dope. $25, $30 card. Yes, please. Safe to say when it comes to J rulers that these new sets always plummet them up to around $25, $30, which makes sense. You only need one in your deck, so no one's out there buying like play sets. All right, let's keep going into the Schrodinger White Cat, the normal version this time. We got the full art, which looks way better in the nice foil and everything, so not bad, though. Uh, what is this one? The Mysteries of Mozart. Mozart looking in like in a very awkward position. She's like cracked in half there. Holy cow, what is going on at that? That is a mystery. It's a mystery how you can bend like that, that's for sure. Next, please, and thank you. Oh, whoa, look at that guy, Oil Demon. Dang, he looks sick. All right, Aegeus, Guidance, there she is again. Hero, wonderful, yes. And we got Fallen Angel of Hatred as our rare normal version. And Spark of Life as our foil. Beautiful looking card. Ooh, next one. Let's go. All right. We need to find our witch. We need to get the pointy witch. That's our goal now. We still need one more J ruler. So we got to look out for that. Uh, oh, that was just a token. There's our rare Scorching Mountain Trail. <laughs> hey, that is good. Super rare, full art. Charlotte, Future of the Sacred Spirit. Lovely looking card too. One of her better artworks. I, I will give her that too. It is one of her better artworks. I'm not usually a fan of Charlotte's artwork, uh, but this one is good. This one, very solid. Very, very solid. I'm saying that a lot this time, aren't I? But uh, 
It's true. You know, when the spo when the spoilers first started coming out in the set, I wasn't super impressed, and I ended up only getting like one box on pre-order, and then they kept coming out. You know, they saved the best to last, and also I was like, okay, you're getting me, you're getting me, and some of these cards that came out towards the end of spoiler season were really nice, and I ended up ordering a second box. So if you're excited to see me open a second box, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and let me know mysteries of zero. And then this guy again, Brave Force Rare Full Art. Oh man, we have uh, been dodging the lucky left side a little bit, so we're gonna head back over there. Oh, 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 it's gonna bounce back up into the screen. That's fine, and we're gonna see what we can get in the lucky left side. Come on in. Number 13, Anti-Magic, super rare. And then, uh, just a Starving Beast. It's a cool card, but it's just a normal. All right, we're even the stacks out, so this is again, lucky left side, let's see. Oh. Come on now. All right. Ooh, normal. Very nice. All right. Permafrost. Sparklefish. What are you? I keep seeing you. Resident of the demonic world. That's just a resident. Creepy lady. Okay. And behind it, another fallen angel of the hatred. Fair enough. Fair enough. And oh my gosh. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Faria, swords master of creation. That is... Freaking dope. Our second J ruler. We hit our second J ruler. Let's freaking go. This is super cool. Let's see that. What is that? Excalibur Genesis. So it goes from Excalibur Genesis to Faria, Swordsmaster of Creation. And she's even got Schrodinger up there. Look at that. Schrodinger flowing up in their side there, huh? That's interesting. All right. All right. I don't know where this one falls price-wise, but uh, it's got to be up there, obviously, with Brad. We still haven't evened out the lucky left side, but that was a pretty good showing for the lucky left side, that's for sure. So this is also from the lucky left side. Let's keep going into it. Schrodinger's call. And we've got the will coin. Mysteries of Zero, what's going to be? Ooh, Shining Heart Scorching Hero. Oh my, it is a rare, it is a full art, and it is popping. That is sick. Next one, I think I might have given myself a paper cut on one of these cards. Oh, they are sharp tonight. Let's go, Firestorm. And then behind it, the Burning Robot again, and Scorching Mountain Trail. Next, come on now, we're getting down to it. We gotta cruise through it. Let's go. Hero of Courage, Shro Dingy 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 Man, Will Coin, and Thunder Empress Strike. Very cool. Let me look at the artwork on her. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That's our super rare. Behind it, we got, ooh, we got a witch. It's the Witch of Quenched Fire. Wow, did I just like spray some spit? I'm so sorry. Uh, hopefully you're not like worth anything crazy and I didn't ruin that card. But the Witch of Quenched Fire is looking pretty sick. It's a cool looking card. We'll see how much it is, I guess. I know not all the witches are worth stuff, but a couple of them, just a couple, are pretty nasty. So, getting into more, wow, I'm just, okay, whoa, we're, the pack just wants me to jump straight into the rare, I guess. It is very excited for me to see this Avenger of Amadeus. I don't know why you'd be that excited. And behind is just the Temple of the Dead, so I don't know what you're trying to tell me here, pack. Come on. Oh, these cards got too much wiggle room, and they are trying to escape and get bent by me opening them very roughly, which is totally the pack's fault and not my own. Dark Lord. Oh, that, wait. Dark Lord? Yeah, Dark Lord. Uh, he's like a freaking gargoyle looking man. Pretty, pretty crazy looking. And then a fish drake, fish drive. Oh, fish drive. Yeah, and that's a rare too. Rare full art. All right, cool. Oh, we got a couple packs from the lucky left side that we got to get into, even things out before we get into our last few packs. So let's get cracking. Surging lightning again. Love that card, man. Give me that and a full art. Excalibur Revolution now. That one I'm pretty sure has some decent value, honestly. Uh, more so in the foil full art, but this one's probably still maybe like 15 bucks, I don't know. And then we got just a normal in the foil. Lucky left side, ooh, ooh, ooh. Showing me stuff, I don't wanna see it yet. Witch of the Unblowing Wind, Sacred Spirit, Fallen Angel, Hero, our classic Darkness Magic Stone. Oh, look at that, our classic little zombie. That's nice, Dark Lord again. Holy frickin' hey, oh my <laughs> I'm sweating a little bit, I'm sweating a little bit, for no reason, for no reason. It's not totally 85 degrees in my upstairs apartment or anything. That's, that's the, well, that's the reason. It's nothing else. Holy crap. 
crap. The Witch of the Fallen Kingdom. Okay, we got a nice witch. We got a nice witch. That is an insane looking card and some insane looking artwork. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that's a A plus from me. That one's gotta be worth something, right? Come on. Next one, let's go. This is coming from our little friend over on the right hand side, feeling left out because we always talk about the lucky left, but it's okay. Sometimes you have your day something right side. I don't know, you gotta prove yourself. There's another zombie. And there's the Shining Scorching Hero. And then there's the Resident of the Demonic World Full Art Normal. This is why we don't really care about your right side. We go straight to the left. But middle, middles are like true wild card. Really, if you think about it. It is truly our wild card. Let's go. You never know. Sometimes one of those lucky lefts slides into the middle. You know? I don't know. All right, Meditation, Hero of Wind, and then we've got our fish, and then we got our fish drive, just the normal version. Behind it, uh, no, this is the Dark Promenade. It is a super rare. I want, I'm curious how much these are going for. Maybe they've got like a $5 price tag or something, so we'll see. They just don't interest me. They don't like garner any special attention. Oh, did I leave? I left two on the Lucky Left side. I was really stacking myself against that Lucky Left because it was kind of hard to reach into. It was easier to grab from the far side. Two left. Which one should we pick? We'll start with the right from the left. Let's get into it. Oil Demon. Uh-oh, did I show myself something? Ah, uh, I'm not gonna be able to tell. Nice thing about kind of going in blind, you get kind of surprised by like witches and stuff. White Garden, just a normal, and uh, yeah, I kind of went over him fast, but you've already seen him. Last pack, and then I get to go to sleep. Not that I wasn't looking forward to this, but I am tired. All righty. Get some sleep, go to work, and then come home and edit this sucker. It's going to be fun. I'm excited to look at TGC player, TCG player, and see what these things are going for. Which with the pointy hat? Yes! Which with the pointy hat is right where we freaking need to be. Now, it's not the full art. It's not the full art. But it should still have some value. Pointy hat, which is... Kind of a confusing artwork of a card, but it must be getting played quite a bit. Let's see what's behind it, though. Uh, number seven, Anti-Magic. Yeah, just a normal. Just whatever. That's fine. All right, so very quickly, we're going to run through some pulls of the day. We got our Pointy Hat Witch, which was our last pack. Oh, we're always doing good on our last pack. Excalibur Revolution. Uh, Re uh, Revolution? Yeah, Revolution, which should be pretty good. I'm taking a gamble on Schrodinger again. I mean, it's a pretty safe bet considering his history. So we'll see if I'm right on this sleeper hit. And then we got Charlotte. Should be worth a few bucks, so I'm not too worried about that. Lenith is definitely worth some value. Very nice full to get. Of course, our other nutty witch here, the Fallen Kingdom Witch, is insane. Should be some good value, I'm hoping. Of course, we got our big boy Brad, obviously a good $30 bucker, and Faria. Very, very, very cool card. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing of Assault into the Demonic World, and I'm hoping you're excited because I am really excited to dig into Rebirth of a Legend, or of Legend. Rebirth of Legend, that's it. That's all it is. Got a case, got them all here. Very pumped to get into these suckers. Little mini packs. So I'm thinking of just doing little mini videos, sprinkling them in throughout the upcoming weeks in between other boxes and other fun stuff. Second box of Assault into the Demonic World. I will be opening that one soon as well to get right along with the release of the new set. So if you're excited for that, please subscribe. Please show your support. Please like, comment, subscribe, send it message to your mom. I don't care. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.